Hi, I'm Peter Frenson, Senior Director of Product Management at Codifa. So what is a data contract? I look at data contracts as the promise that a data product owner or data producer makes to their customers or data consumers. First of all, data contracts will tell you the terms and conditions for the data. Are there any limitations or restrictions in terms of licensing? Is there an internal cost for using the data and so on? Data contracts will also explain what can be expected in terms of service level objectives or SLOs for the source system or interface. For example, uh, what is the latency of the interface or what is the guaranteed uptime I can expect. Next, they contain information about the pipeline or the data delivery mechanism. For example, if a pipeline that delivers the data is scheduled to run weekly on Sunday, the data consumer has to know that if they use the data on Friday, they're looking at data, it's five days old. And finally, the data contract contains information about the data itself. What is the schema of the data? What are the data quality metrics? For example, if I have a data product to do churn analysis, I want to make sure that the problem that contains a revenue for customer has no null no value. Understanding this clearly marks the difference between a data contract on the one hand, where the main purpose is to ensure that the data is fit for use for the data consumer's use case, and a data sharing agreement on the other hand, where the purpose is to outline what you can and cannot do with the data. Together, they form a nice yin and yang where the data contract is the offense line to make sure you get value from the data, and the data sharing agreement is the defense line to protect users from misusing the data and all the cloud consequences that may bring. And AMR versus protection, offense versus defense. If you want to learn more about data contracts, make sure to check out our resource library at Kuniwa.com.